Hey there, it's Tara from Raw Food Living, and in today's video, I am going to address a topic that I am super passionate about. And the question is whether you will automatically become super thin on a raw vegan diet, and if it is natural to be a very slim body weight and body composition just by eating a raw food diet. So you guys might have noticed that I am uploading a video on a Wednesday today. Usually I upload every Monday and Friday, but I'm gonna be starting these Wednesday segments to answer some of the questions and topics that you guys bring up in the comment section of my videos because I get so many amazing comments and I really want to address some of them. This all started with a comment I got on one of my recent videos all about how I learned to love and appreciate a part of my body that I hated for most of my life and that was my stomach or stomach flab, tummy rolls, muffin top, whatever you want to call it. And this question that someone sent in is something that is really important to me. The question is, just curious why you would have stomach rolls, not that I'd even call your tiny bit of a pooch anything near that with a raw vegan diet. Wouldn't you lose excess fat fairly easily? This is not a criticism, but genuine confusion. And where do I even begin with this? Okay, I had this belief, I was under the impression when I first began a raw food lifestyle, when I first began eating raw food, that it was an automatic result of eating a raw food diet that I would naturally slim down to my slimmest weight, meaning that I would have a sculpted, trim, fit figure, and that was going to be an automatic byproduct of eating raw foods. Um, it didn't matter how much exercise I did, it didn't matter how many calories I ate, whether I was sedentary or not, it was just going to be a natural process that happened just by eating raw foods. And I wish I could remove this belief from the raw food movement. I wish I could just take it and throw it in the trash because that's exactly what it is. It's complete garbage. And I believed it for years. I really truly thought that like, because I didn't look like other raw vegans, because I didn't have you know, my slimmest body weight, because I still had visible fat on my body, that I was doing something wrong. And because of that, I, I was fake, I wasn't real, I wasn't able to inspire people. I felt like a complete failure because of this belief. And I had it ingrained in me that it was natural that you would get down to this slim body weight. And because I wasn't getting there, because I never achieved these results that were supposed to be so effortless, I felt like there was something wrong with me. And that is so incorrect. That could not be farther from the truth. The truth is we all have different bodies. We all have different lifestyles. We live in different climates. We have different fitness regimes and ways of exercising and treating our bodies. And, well, I think I got a spider in my eye. Oops. Okay, well, anyways, what I was saying is that you cannot expect different people from different circumstances with different bodies, different ages, fitness levels, demographics, to eat the same diet and all have exactly the same results. And unfortunately, that's what people expect when they come to a vegan lifestyle, a raw vegan lifestyle. And I just wanna say that there is nothing wrong with not getting these supposed results that everyone is supposed to get. And also, why do we feel like we have to get to that end result anyways? I, I, you know, I was focused on it, I was so obsessed with it for so long um, that I lost sight of why I needed to get to this end result. I lost sight of why I was even doing it, why I had this obsession in the first place. So that's the question I really want to ask. Not is, should my body have been at this perfect state? Wouldn't I have been able to lose weight, you know, excess fat and weight effortlessly and fairly easily? That's not the question that I think should be asked. The question is, why do we expect that we should have to look any certain way, regardless of what diet or lifestyle we're living? That that's really what I, I'm asking myself. I've been on this journey the last year asking myself that, like, why do we have this ideal body shape that we love and adore and anything beyond that, anything less or more than that is unacceptable in the raw food movement? I, I just don't, I don't understand. To me, there's no logic behind it. Like, why can't we have diversity? Why can't we have a wide range of bodies and shapes represented in this movement? And I don't think it's the fault of anyone in specifically, but I think it's this indoctrinated belief that automatically, if you are not down to your slimmest weight and if you don't look like some sort of supermodel, then you're eating cheeseburgers on the side and you're lying about your lifestyle. And I think that that's just false. I mean, for myself, I've been living a raw food lifestyle for the past seven and a half years, approximately almost eight years, and I haven't been sneaking cheeseburgers on the side. My body has just maintained the shape that it naturally maintains. And yes, I have visible body fat. Yes, I can grab fat on my stomach and excess skin and things like that. But why is that a problem? And why do we make people feel like they are failures if they don't, if, if they have that type of body? So 
I, I just really think that we should ex be accepting of more body shapes and more body figures and specifically more accepting of our own body shapes because I don't think that people are genuinely concerned about how others look. I think from my own experience I was much more focused on how I looked and I cared so much more about my own body than anyone else's. So I think the answer is to be compassionate towards ourselves and accept our bodies as they are right now in the present moment and let go of this belief that you have to look any certain way regardless of what diet or lifestyle you're living. So that is my personal answer to that question. Should all raw vegans be super thin? The answer is some will be yes and some will not be and there is nothing bad or wrong with either end of the spectrum. I think there is room for diversity. I think there is room for different body shapes and I think that we should love and accept and respect our bodies the way they are as long as we feel good. That is more important to me than looks. If you feel good, if you're living a lifestyle that feels good to you, that doesn't harm other beings, who gives a shit if you look like a supermodel or not? Honestly, that's what I wanna say is it doesn't matter. It just simply does not matter. So that is my message for you today. If you are excited about these Wednesday videos, let me know in the comments below. And if you have any questions that you want me to answer specifically in these Wednesday comments, let me know also down in the comment section. And uh, I'll let you guys know when I'll be uploading on Wednesdays. Hopefully it'll be every week. I'm really going to try for that. Thanks so much for watching. And if you want to keep updated with all of my videos, whether it's my Monday, Wednesday, or Friday videos, make sure you hit that little red subscribe button down there and I will catch you next time.